In this video, we will show you how to maximize the features of OneDrive for Business for protecting sensitive information and securing collaboration. OneDrive for Business is a cloud-based personal storage space that is provided to you by Bryn Mawr College. You can access it through your Bryn Mawr account. OneDrive for Business encrypts information at rest, that is information that is stored on its servers, encrypts information in motion, that is during uploads, downloads, and movement between Microsoft servers, and provides two-factor authentication as an extra layer of security for your account. It also provides access to a host of Office 365 applications, such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. As long as documents made with these applications are saved to OneDrive for business, they are encrypted and protected. They remain encrypted during download but are no longer encrypted when they arrive on your computer. Therefore, every download creates an unencrypted version of the document on your computer. To prevent this, you can edit and share all your data through OneDrive instead of downloading them before doing so. First and foremost, you can edit the documents in the online versions of the apps. Though the online versions have limited functionality, they provide the most basic tools needed to do meaningful work. For more functionality, you can edit them in the desktop applications, that is, if you have the desktop applications on your computer. However, you must open the document through OneDrive. Files open in the desktop through OneDrive are automatically saved to OneDrive and encrypted. There are no copies of them on your computer. OneDrive for Business also provides link sharing settings that allow you to control who can access your files using the link. For example, with the Anyone setting, anyone with access to the link can view and edit the file contents. Whereas with a Specific People setting, only people you share the link directly with can access the file. The link will be unusable to people who did not receive it directly from you. For more information on encryption, check out these videos.